We've got a bit of a problem. The NXT UK Championship and Heritage Cup have gone missing. I swear I had them through customs when we got back. Do you think the airline somehow lost them? Or maybe they were stolen? Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, just calm down. How can I calm down when the two things that have helped make me the hottest thing in wrestling are missing? Uh, let's get this straight. You made yourself the hottest thing in wrestling. It's not about the hardware. And they're not missing. I made a deal with WWE. What do you mean you made a deal? You've had your fun, joyriding around the world, but now it's time to face your challenges head on. And that means returning to WWE. So, I handed over to the NXT UK title and Heritage Cup in exchange for you getting your job back. I'm not sure I agree with how you handled this, but I get why you did it. You're right. Maybe it is time to go back. I am right. And are you honestly surprised I did this? It's kind of my thing. No. Should have seen it coming a mile away. What can I say? I went with my gut. I wasn't going to sit back and let you make the same mistakes I made in my career. So you're going back to WWE to become the megastar you were destined to be. All right. I guess we're headed to Raw. It's certainly been a wild ride lately. I didn't expect it to happen like this, but... I think deep down, I knew someday I'd have to go back to WWE if I truly wanted to prove myself. Tavish was right. It's time to take this challenge head on and make up for how things ended. This time will be different now that the handcuffs are off and I can be myself. And there's only one goal in mind. Get to the top and become WWE Champion. Now that you can be yourself, are you going to show up in WWE with your current look, debut something new, or return to being the luck. This really is a whole new chapter for me. So I think it's the perfect time to debut a new look. You mentioned how your goal is to win the WWE Championship. That's interesting because since you've been gone, your old faction mate Slade has broken through and become WWE Champion. Yeah, Slade, or as I knew him, Gabe. Look, I don't care who's champion. It could be an old friend, it could be an enemy, or someone I've never even met before. It doesn't matter. Whoever it is, I'm taking their title. You think everything will be okay with WWE management after you basically hijacked their titles? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Go. Just like riding a bike. Only there's a horde of angry men trying to violently knock you off. You got this. It's been a while. Meet your new and improved replacement. <laughs> we'll be seeing you around. That was awkward. <laughs> At least you haven't run into Shawn Michaels yet. If I had to guess, he's saving that for later tonight. No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. 
So what do you say we start over? I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was The Lock. And I'm here to tell you the Lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really... Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell. Now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. Little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE 
permanently, forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but his boss Shawn Michaels just said there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is actually going to happen? I understand that I got this. Trust me. Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure this is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael. The artist, formerly known as Locke, is back. He sure is, and he wants the entire WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Look at this, just stop after stop after stop. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stops. This is an incessant attack being brought to him. He's just on the wrong side of every maneuver. This is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Oh, not long. Oh, my goodness. And that was an effective attack, guys. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Look, oh, we have a new champion here! What the heck? Shawn Michaels just pulled the referee out of the ring. What kind of behavior is that by our VP of talent development? Shawn wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. Was this all part of Evolution and Michaels' plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's gonna try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. 
Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against time. him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> This is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade Runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What do you say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. Summer slam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. 